My name is Dave Keith, and contrary to popular belief, I'm not a fan of getting up at four o'clock on a Sunday morning for any reason. But I am a fan of finding bargains at car boot sales that I can go on to flip online for profit. And mostly you can't have one without the other. I know it's very sad. I can hear the violins in the distance as we speak. <laughs> off to a local favourite today, Bershka Boot Sale. I've been for ages as well, which is strange because I've made some really good contacts there and I'm hoping I meet them there today. So let's get some much needed coffee, get some cash and get on the road. I think it's more the fact that it's after clock in the morning that it's so dark rather than the season coming to a close. And man, it's murky out today. How much are your lamps? Uh, they vary from uh, five pounds to tw five pounds to, uh, to twenty pounds. Yeah, depending on which one. Small ones are, 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 are four pounds, five pounds, ten pounds, twelve pounds, fifteen pounds. Are they a pair? Yeah. I think they're a pair. Aren't no, they? I don't think they are. No. Are they? I don't know. No, not quite. No, no. <laughs> That'd have been too lucky, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, it would. Yes, it would. Morning chaps, how much have you got on this? Oh on the uh, Revita? Yeah. Uh, tenner. Tenner. Good that because they're 200 quid each though. They're not cheap are they? Yeah. Are they? Well we've got one at home and you know they are good. If yeah. you've got you know, pain in your leg and that it takes it away because of the electric flow. Yeah yeah. The electric. Have you had a go on one? Yeah I have yeah. I put, yes. I put, I put my dad on it and put it on full. <laughs> and then I had to go and go <laughs> Does it not interfere with a telly? <laughs> no, not at all, no. I tell you what, it makes you like jump after a bit. I put it on yeah, full yeah. 100. Yeah, so I think you only do that once, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, definitely. But yeah, yeah, you won't find one like that any, anywhere for that price. That's impossible. Yeah, Thank definitely. you very much. Yeah, all right, what's that, Terry? The moment. Oh, it's a 10. Thank yeah. you, Terry. Cheers. Thank you very okay. much, sir. Thank you for that, mate. Have a successful day. Uh, yeah, yeah, not bad. It's going to be hot today. Yeah, I reckon so, eh? This, this is what. Morning. 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 Oh. How much did you tell? Uh, we started at 70. We're still going out for about 150 online. Yeah. So it's a good nick. Just needs um, an ink cartridge. They're about three, four pounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's all there. It's got your um, power supply. It's got the key. All the original packaging, the instructions are there. Good little unit. They're a lot lighter than they used to be as well, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> How much is that, Ed? Five, I think. Five. I've never brought it up here. It's unusual, I've never seen it before. Yeah, I've never brought it up here because we've got loads in the, in the house, haven't we? Is it like a role-playing game type thing? Yeah. I have a Christmas from what Another one there, sealed. That's a good Christmas present. Harry Potter. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. How much is your Scrabble? There's the rest of it. <coughs> I've got the other part of it. All oh, right, it's on. But when you open it up, it's all in there. So watch yourself. Yeah. It's all um, magnetic thing, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the rest of it. Could you go three on it? I'll do four. 
Yeah. Yeah, go on, we'll do four. Thank you. I think I'll do the same as you and keep those in my pocket as well. You just know they're going to go everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Thank you, sir. How much have you got any VR stuff, mate? Pardon? How much is the VR stuff? All the stuff there in that box is 25 quid, mate. It's all working as well. The only thing that there should be two of them, and there's yeah. only one of them, I think that goes with that. Right. Did I give it to me? He's just got the one without the wires now. Yeah, yeah. Is it an Oculus, that? Yeah, it's an Oculus. Yeah. Would you get a 20 on it? Without the case? Uh, yeah, without the case. Go you ahead, got, then. you got a carrier bag and check I it in this one. have something somewhere. You know what, mate? Take the case. Yeah. See that. Oh, now. sound. Appreciate it's that, mate. Nice the case is weird. It's fucking the <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's nothing in there. You put it. That's where you find his stash, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> he's, old, he's 12 now, but he's 12, going on 24. Well, nice one, brother. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> Made some space on your table as well. That'll clean up nice, that, I think. Yeah, well, yeah. It's nice, mate, split up, that. Yeah. Thank Damn you, sir. It. Cheers. Damn it. If, if you think it might be the bowl, but it does work. Yeah. I've not had one for ages, but I'm sure it is. Yeah, it's, not, no it's, just a new it's one of those things that lives in the garage most yeah, of the year, isn't it? <laughs> Would you get a 30 on it? Yeah, I'll do a 30. It was the cheeky smile that did it, wasn't it? Sucker for the nice smile. Oh, you're a, you're a legend, thank you. You know how to fold it down? Yes. <laughs> that wasn't convincing at all, was it? Yeah, it's, um, I'm not sure what that's That's for. off a pan set, that camping pan set. You're Just right. that lot. That's it. Yeah, that one. There you go. Yeah. I've done me good deed for the day. I misunderstood it in there. <laughs> yeah. But then, you know, he's not given to walking around. I'll sort Shop that out. Sorry. It's fine. There you go, lovely. You know how to fold it up. Yeah, I'll give it a good go. I don't think it's that hard. He says. <laughs> sort of pull it towards you. Yeah. There we are. That's it, perfect. Thank you very much. We've got a backup trolley now as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Thank you, have a good day, love. Morning, pal. What have you got in your lamp? Six quid. Six quid? Would you go five on it? I'll do a five. Oh, you're a diamond, thank you. Gives me a bit of space to put more. That's it, absolutely, yeah. Bulb's working as far as I know. Bonus. It's not a. Uh, awkward one anyway, is he? I don't think. Smashing. Thank Cheers, pal. Cheers. Have a good one. You too. See you later. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Is it working, you Tom Tom? Yes, it is, yeah. How much do you want for it? Uh, how much do you want for the top one? Seven, five. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very Cheers. much. Thank you. Oh, yeah. How much, is that? How much is that one? This. How much is that? Um, Did it work, do you know? Yeah, I think. Did it come with your remote originally? No, I didn't. Oh, but I can remember. I was yeah, like, it's been a while. Three years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I'll do a five of that. Do you have any change at all? Uh, oh, no, I can manage. Someone yep. actually gave me 20 before another 20, so. Can you just have a quick look? Yeah, go yeah. Thank you very much. That's always a good sign, isn't it? Yeah, when it starts working, right? Yeah. I think it's a bag inside for you. The one put in the bag. Brilliant. The bricks and batteries are inside for the extras. Fantastic spare filter as well. Yeah. 
them something like that, yes? Yeah. And also oh, are they for the end of the roller or something? Sorry? The, the, yeah, that's filter, bags. yeah. It's going somewhere inside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, filter basically. Brilliant. And that's all them bits. Perfect. That's for extension. How do you detach oh, that's that? That's for the handle hoover. Handle hoover. Yeah. <laughs> How do you detach it? Be marked. Yeah. There you ah, go. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> He's had training, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you very you. much. I think that pole's for something else completely, isn't it? Yeah. Great, Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, have you got the charger, by the way? Do you have the charger, by the way? No, do we have the charger with it? We don't do it. Charger? No, we have another one in at home. Oh, all right, okay. It's a very common charger, brother. I, I, should, I should have asked that first, shouldn't I? <laughs> I'll probably get one online, it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, cheers. Matt. Matt, and you know, Shani? Karen. Karen, nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. No, you don't have to buy out. No, no, I, should. I might have to now. <laughs> done all right this morning. We've got, we've got, we've got into it, didn't we? Like, we started watching YouTube and as you the see, rest is history, kind of thing. Getting the red of our crap, but we do a little bit of buying and selling, don't we? We're not yeah. like you guys. Like, well, the thing is, everybody does it to, for their own reasons, don't they? Yeah. I, I, I did it to get out of a bloody job that was killing me. Yeah. So. Certainly, yeah, for sure. Cool. John Luke's great in here as well. Yeah. He, yeah. Honestly, when you listen to his story where he comes from probably a lot of people have done that but you know he's done really well yeah he really has yeah. yeah fair play and to go in with uh stacy now i think it's uh only going to push him forward yeah it? yeah absolutely what's the story with these um know. they were my mum's and she's just had to change what footwear she's worn oh, so right, i think okay. they've been worn twice yeah yeah but yeah they should they're sort of genuine sketches yeah fair enough. how much are they five i think mm. I'm not going to argue. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. I just made a proper schoolboy error though. Have you? After all these years of doing this. Um, got a GTEC uh, Air Ram Hoover oh. for a tenner with loads of accessories, spares and all that kind of stuff. I'm giving it brilliant. Did the deal, paid the money. Have you got a charger? Oh no. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like the, the first question you ask. <laughs> yeah. you yeah. Have you got a charger? I suppose, again, on eBay, you'd probably pick it up, wouldn't you? Yeah, I, I reckon in probably best part of a tenner for a genuine charger, but it's one of them, and it? It'll, it's, it's going to be 60, 70 quid all day long, yeah. at least. In fact, possibly more with the accessories, so... Yeah. Uh, it, it, I'm, not, I'm not grumbling. No, no, I wouldn't. I can't spoil anything else, so I'll weigh in for these. Cheers, thank you. Yeah. Smash in, thank you very, thank much. You very much. Nice to meet you anyway. Yeah, you too. Have a Thanks successful day. Thank you. Thank you. Train magnets, Rob. Yeah, six pound, then mate. Be a six. Size six. Yeah. Another eight Clarks. Yeah, yeah, same, same, same. Six quid as well. Yeah. I can't. I can't really barter, really, can I? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I mean, I do like a good angle, but that'd be taking the piss. Yeah. <laughs> Are they all the same? Uh, they they're six. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're all six, mate. I want a tenner for them. That would be. No. Up, fair enough. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And there's another pair there as well. Yeah. What did you just speak to Alan on me? Yeah. Yeah. What's that blanket? Five. Cheers, buddy. Jill got a pound. No, that's right, honestly. Sure? Yeah, you've done me sound. Yeah, oh, cheers. Cheers, buddy. Fulfilled at Burska today is absolutely chock a block. Some great pickups. This trolley's getting really heavy. Sorry for that, I'm getting really weak. <laughs> I am actually going to hit another boot sale. I was going to get a Bolton, but apparently it's not on. So I'm going to get a Robins Island, and that's where we'll be in a sec. Oh, yes, indeed. This is the busiest I've ever seen Robins Island. Oh, buzzing to get in here. 
Oh, Have you got enough, Paul? Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Have you got these, bud? Three quid. Do five in a pair? Cheers, man. Here you be the boss, are you? Cheers, mate. Real deal lemon, 100 quid from you. Oldberg bike boots, I've never, oh, I've never heard of Oldberg mm. doing bike boots before. They're the police issue ones. Right, okay. That's weird that. I've seen loads of military boots. How much are they? 100 quid from you, they're very, very lightly worn. Yeah. When I served, if you wanted decent boots, you had to buy them yourself. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll do a ten for those. Ooh. What size are they? Ten. Well, they'll be ten-ish. It is on the inside. And... Yeah. Oh yeah. Sweet. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Cheers, buddy. Great. Right, cheers. Thank you. Happy miles on them. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. And you, mate. I really wish I'd have been filming that. Top man Jim has just come up to me and handed me a bacon butty at the most perfect of times. So Jim, you are a legend sir. Thank you very much indeed. How do? How much are your boots? Four quid. Four quid? Four pound. And that is absolute, yeah, absolute bargain. bargain. There would have been that? a lot more, right? But it's only because um, there's one I notice I've, I've, I've folded them yeah. and it's, it's split. It doesn't matter because you're in the water, you see. Yeah. But uh, somewhere, there's a little nick somewhere. I don't know where it is. Oh, yeah, there. You see it? Yeah. yeah. Now, there'd have been a lot more if I had. If, no, fair if, enough. You know how much these are. Yeah, yeah. No, I appreciate your honesty. Um, three pounds. How much is your uh, realistic? She's got 80 down for her, but I'm sure she'll take 65. Yeah. Away, I can play with the prices now. <laughs> <laughs> and how much is that one? Uh, but it's twelve pound fifty that one. Twelve fifty. Yeah. Can we go to fifty on that? Uh, go on, I'll say yeah. Thank you, sir. I'll say yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to bag this? Well, no, I saw I'll just chuck oh, it Oh, you got one of those things in there. The trolley, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? See that little thing on the top? Yeah. That's a long wire there. Ah, right, okay. Really, that's got that was the length of the back garden. Bloody hell. There you go. Sound. Is there anything we here? Just the unit? That's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, fair enough. It's just basically plug in and away you go, sort of thing, but that's a long wire that you know. Um, Thank you. How much are your pants and your jacket, Paul? Uh, Bell staff pants and that jacket. I guess actually, yeah. <laughs> That's the set there. They're the right, men's okay. trousers, then. Yeah. Uh, £10. Uh, what are we talking £10 for? £10 for those? Or the lot? I'll do 15 for the two. 15 for the two. Perfect. Is that a lassie set, that? It's a lassie set. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm going to five if you want. Which one, sorry? Oh, right, okay. It's 20 for the three, is that all right? Yeah, yeah, it's fine, that. So, 
you very much, sir. Cheers. Another absolutely chocker boot sale. I've never seen Robins Island this busy. The highlight's got to be the bacon butty, though, I've got to admit. I did get some good pickups. Let's get everything home now and show you what I did get from both boot sales. Man, it warmed up today. I'm on my like third t shirt. And what a day, though. What a day. The total spend was £227 and the total gross listing value, I say this very loosely, is £1,525. The first pickup of the day was the Revitive, and I think that kind of set them out for the rest of the day. Let's get into it and I'll show you what I got. Starting off with a George Ross favourite, a Sholly Trolley. This is in absolutely spectacular condition with one exception. It does smell a bit of fags. I paid £30 for this, which is absolutely brilliant for a trolley of this condition. I'm sure I can make it smell pretty. I'm going to put a gross listing value of £100 on that. There are some comps for this trolley in this condition around about the 130 mark, but I'm erring on the side of caution just in case uh, I can't shift the smell as much. I mentioned that on the listing. I want a quick flip on it anyway, to be fair. I don't want big items hanging around too long. Next, Bose Sound Dock XT with lightning connection. Paid £5 for this. You'll have to excuse me, incidentally. I've, I've had a nap and I've been to a bike club meeting. And if I've forgotten some of the prices or I'm off what I paid for them, I'll put a correction on screen. So just give us a bit of leeway on that. Paid £5 for this and I'm going to put a listing value of £40 on it. TomTom Tom XXL. It doesn't power on, but these are pretty bulletproof, actually. Western Europe version, generally speaking, a TomTom -tom uh, that's this young will have free lifetime maps on them anyway. I was quite surprised because this is a relatively recent model. I'm surprised it, it doesn't comp for higher, really. Uh, I definitely paid a fiver for this, and that's going to have a listing value of £30. Now, schoolboy error. Absolute schoolboy error, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take it on the chin because the margin supports taking it on the chin. But what an idiot! You guys all have seen it. In fact, I've no doubt that at least one of you out there will have been shouting at this video, saying, "Dave, what have you forgotten? What have you forgotten to ask, Dave?" I paid a tenner for this g -Tech Multi K9. This is just a um, Mark I, I believe. There's a couple of editions of the Multi K9. I think this is the first one. It works, which is great. But the one thing I didn't ask that I should have is, is the charger with it. What, what a muppet. That's the first question you ask, surely. Anyway, completely slipped my mind this morning. Uh, like I say, I paid £10 for this and I'm going to source, I'm obviously going to source a charger for it. I'm expecting that to be about 10 or 11 quid, if memory serves. I think that's normally what I would sell them for on their own. So I'm anticipating that. The margin will stand that additional cost. So for argument's sake, we'll put a total cost value of £22 on this. And I'm going to put a gross listing value on it of £65. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I'm always looking at vintage looking Christmas decorations and ornaments always in fact and ironically I haven't sold any for a while today as I got home I sold uh, I'll put it on screen I sold a, a Christmas village ornament set and it's the 3rd of September today this kind of stuff sells all the way through the year I paid five pound for these Lamax figures they are complete it looks like it's not but they're bits that aren't visible are actually in the box. All got the packaging and the original paperwork. Cracking condition again. I'm going to be really conservative on the listing value on these because for the Lamax brand, depending what it is, some of the village figures and some of the buildings go for pretty strong money. It's sort of like 70 to 100 pound. I may land on a higher valuation when I actually come to list these, but for the video, I'm going to put a listing value of 25 pound each on them. I have sold one of these before. This is a blow mold vintage light up Santa. It's very, very light. It has got a little bit of damage There's on the on the top there. That could probably do to be a bit stronger. I mean, it'll hold the weight of the thing, but it does look like it's had a bit of chewing. Just needs a clean up. I want to say I paid three pound for this and it's going to have a listing value of 40 pound on it. The first pickup of the day I mentioned, the Revitive Circulation Booster. This is an item that should be on everybody's bolo list if it isn't already. This is the 2469MD. There are different models of it about, 
This one is complete though. It's got its charger, it's got its remote, it's got all its manuals, the internals of packaging are, are all there as well. It looks in really great condition. I say that a lot, don't I? If something is in crap condition, I will say that as well. Anyway, paid just £10 for this, which is an absolute deal different models go for different prices but this particular model i'm going to stick it on for 185 pound and believe it or not there are comps for this model that are higher than that i took a bit of a gamble on this jacket uh, this is a brasher jacket i picked up in fact i didn't actually know that brasher did clothing i thought it was just a boots kind of firm i've picked up loads of brasher boots in the past and they've always sold really well for me but this feels like a really good quality garment it's sort of like a micro fleece and waffle they just one pound for it i'm going to put a listing value on that of 20 pound i did actually think it'd go for a bit higher because of the brand but Apparently not. Now these were a steal. Solivare are a sister company, or I say they're a sister company to Dr. Martin's. I'm not entirely sure that's the truth. There is some relationship between the two firms anyway. They're very, very similar to a Dr. Martin's, the Solivare. I paid £15 for both pairs. And like Dr. Martin's, the value is higher if they're made in England. Uh, Dr. Martin's are made all over the world, Vietnam, China, so on and so forth. The ones that are made in England though, do command a higher price. The £15 I paid for both of these is going to translate into a gross listing value of £65 each. This beautiful solid brass banker's lamp the brand is coach house for strangely for which there's there's no comps at all i couldn't say i certainly can't find any but if there's one thing i've come to know now it's lamps vintage lamps and i know what quality is and i know what will hit the mark with potential buyers and this ticks a lot of boxes it has got a bit of tarnish in i will put a bit of effort into cleaning it up giving it a polish not too much though i don't really see any too much time on it i want to say i paid a fiver for this lamp I'm going to put a listing value of £60 on it. For the more modern ones, you can be looking at £30 to £40. And there's a very good chance I've undervalued that as well because, like I said, it really is a substantial lamp and it's definitely not a reproduction. It's definitely genuine vintage lamp. It may at some point in its life have had its uh, cable repl replaced though because the cable looks a lot more modern than the lamp does. Landing on real bargains today, these Rocky Dog Vera canvas boots paid £6 for those. They'll have a listing value of £30. These rather impressive Clark's Coric Rise GTX boots, again £6. They'll have a listing value of £55. Incidentally, when you see GTX in the model of any boots, that means it's Gore-Tex. And that's backed up by a little Gore-Tex badge on these boots. New brand to me, these are Mustang ladies boots. Pretty cool looking things actually. Not massive value in them to be fair, but six pound again, and that will be a 30 pound listing value. Picking Magnum boots up quite regularly now. These are brand spanking new. Size seven, uh, again, six pound. All these four were from the same seller. These are the Magnum Panther, and these will have a listing value of 65 pound. From a subscriber, forgive me, I've forgotten the names. I'll put them on screen if I remember in the edit. <laughs> I picked up some sketches. I always like buying stuff from subscribers because I have just simply the best subscribers in the world. I paid five pound for these trainers. Uh, nothing exceptional really, just a nice standard pair of uh, sketches in great nick, nice little chrome detailing on them. And they will be a 20 pound flip. I noticed this realistic DX200. Uh, the, well, the reason I noticed it actually is because I've dealt with some CB equipment in the past and that's what I thought this was. It probably is. I'm not entirely sure if I'm honest, but I've done really well off CB equipment. If you see anything that's CB related, it's always worth looking at because some of the old tatty looking stuff can be really, really worth strong money. I did pay up a bit for this at £50. It looks in good nick cosmetically. Obviously, there's no way of testing it. Very few comps for it, but I think stuff like this is getting harder and harder to come by these days the listing value i'm going to put on that is 200 pound and that's obviously supported by evidence playstation vr bundle i either paid 20 or 20 
25 pound for this it looks complete as well it's got all its bits with its camera obviously the headset and the receiver it's only got one wand controller though it may well be worth my while sourcing another one to go with it i've still got my five pound playstation that i picked up from the northeast so i can i can test this out probably extensively <laughs> If it turns out that it's not working, the working parts can be parted out. So I'm, I'm never ever going to lose it. 20, 25 pound that I paid for it. In the case as well was this PS4 controller. Again, I can test that quite easily. I'm going to sell the VR bundle separately to the controller. The VR bundle, when I get another controller for it, I'm going to list it for 120 pound. And the controller, in two minds whether to keep this actually, because I'm coming across PS4s increasingly regularly. So it's always worthwhile having sort of like a stock of controllers that you can bundle with it. But for the purposes of the video, I'm gonna put a listing value on this as well of 20 pound. Deluxe Travel Scrabble, great bread and butter pickup. I'm gonna say I paid four pound for this and that'll have a listing value of 20 pound. I didn't know until today that Altberg did motorcycle boots. I know they do military boots, army issue boots, and you've seen me pick those up countless times, brown usually, uh, sometimes black, but apparently Altberg do motorcycle boots as well, and they are issued to the police. These are, aside from needing a wipe down, these are in great condition as well. I paid £10 for these boots, which was an absolute steal, unbeknown to me at the time. Is it going to have a listing value of £90? I know I've probably got a bit more of an upper hand than uh, most on motorcycle gear because I've worked in the industry for so long and I'm a rider myself. So I know what quality is like, but I really strongly urge you to always be checking comps. I mean, you check in the condition of the boots in the same way as you would any boots, but always check the brand as well. Not so long ago, I picked up a pair of Daytona boots and they went for, I think it was 160, 170 pound off the back of a 20 pound purchase. So you can be talking really significant returns. More bike gear. This is actually a really good looking Risha jacket. It's a woman's jacket. It's got its liner with it and all its armor. I paid 20 pound for the jacket and the two pairs of pants are gonna come onto in a sec. And the jacket will have a listing value of 60 pound on its own. The chap said that these pants came with it, but they almost certainly didn't. They're a different color and a different styling as well. There's still Risha though, which is a well-recognized, well-loved brand. Uh, I'm gonna put a listing value of 30 pound on those. And from my Bolo announcement just recently, you'll recognize this brand, Bell Staff. Some of the more modern pieces are uh, less valuable. I've currently got a, a jacket listed for 400 pound, which is having a lot of interest, few questions. I've no doubt that'll go for there, thereabouts. Because of how much I paid for these three, I was always gonna pick these up, but they do need a bit of TLC. They're missing the toggles on the uh, on the zips on the legs if these weren't such a great brand and if i'd paid any more than i had for them i probably would have left these if i'm honest because of the effort that goes into uh, replacing those not that it's a massive effort it's just time I i'll probably give these to a friend to sort out who specializes in that kind of thing but it's just time and time is my most precious commodity but anyway i will do in this instance because even in this condition once They've had the minor repairs done. These will have a listing value of £60. When I say I've got the best subscribers in the world, I mean that from the heart. And it is in no way influenced by the fact that one of them gave me a sausage butty today. <laughs> It was a sausage boy, not a bacon boy. What a great day at the office though. Bumped into a few people that follow the channel, which is always nice. Picked up some good quality stuff. We're not talking loads and loads and loads of stuff with very little margin in that's gonna eat my time. We're talking quality stuff. Some bits and pieces in there, more bread and butter, which is fine. But the more time I can free up by listing fewer things for the same return, the more I can invest that time into streamlining my business and growing it. Hopefully you've enjoyed our little trip out today. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. The fact that you've watched this video this far is the greatest thing you could have done for this channel. And I am humbly humbly grateful. Until next time, you lovely people. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. See you soon.